Welcome back, everyone. Time for some more stasis. Um, just as a quick aside, as well, the game is... Oh, the game's already loaded. Uh, I... You know, I skipped trying those other coordinates in the in the thing in the last episode, in the, like, little tube shoot thing. Um, a commenter helpfully told, informed me that we didn't actually miss anything. They don't... It won't go anywhere else. It's not like we go off and die like I thought. It just won't work, so... Luckily, we didn't miss anything out there, so that's good. I feel I was almost ready to reload up a game, work my way all the way back there and try again because I felt bad about not even attempting it, but uh, the commenter helpfully informed me, because they have this game, that it doesn't work at all, so we will uh, take their word for it. We got a PDA to read here. <clears throat> this is Sadie Callister. I thought that becoming the new head med medical tech on this deck would actually improve things, but it's like being thrown into the lion's den. The lockdown a few months back was a pain, but these inventory discrepancies are the real problem. Then yesterday the systems went haywire. The first the first thing Erica does, of course, is call up her little sister to make sure she's okay. I suppose I can understand that. I just went I would just wish that well, I wish that that she'd ask after me sometimes too. Yesterday, during the power outage, I was locked in the storage room for two hours. But Danica's fine, of course, so who cares about me? I was only trapped in a product storage room with only plant cultures and human limbs for company. That's a weird thing to have in a storage room. I took a look at them, actually. It's part of my job, with plants anyways. And I had to do something to keep my mind off this. Good specimens, all of them, except for sample 99D, E, and F. I couldn't for the life of me work out what the samples this badly mutated would be permitted anywhere near the greenhouses. These are recent too. Dear God, what imbecile is shipping in shipping sent these to storage? Kane's, Kane's hydroponics have the strictest quarantine regulations in the galaxy. Punishable by losing your damn job. It must be the new s that new section a few floors down. They've got all kinds of fools on payroll. You know, I usually like to spend time in the greenhouses, but I swear something's going funny with those new crops. Erica said I'm probably just imagining it, but I had a whole batch of brassica growth cultures thrown out the other day, showing signs that looked like Dutch elm disease. How is that possible? I'm going to submit a report. How am I supposed to explain to Dr. Milan and the board that we have mutant cultures in, the, in storage and perfectly good crops with extinct diseases in another? <coughs> Erica's lost her damn mind. I'm scared out of my mind right now. She dragged us on a fool's errand across the ship to look for Danica. I tried to tell her how I saw one of those things wearing Danica's face the other morning. Oh god, it makes me want to puke. Just think about it. Just thinking about it. It looked like a deflated balloon as it was scuttled up the walls. I swear, Ingracia fried it with a bolt. Fried it with a bolt? But we can't be sure. He's a psychiatrist, not a soldier. Then again... Are any of us soldiers? Erica seems to think we're in the Marine Corps, waving around that rifle like a cr with a crazy look in her eye, threatening to kill anyone who disagrees with her. Erica, I told her, are you you're an, you are a nurse. God, I barely recognize her anymore. What happened to my best friend? What happened to that girl from Stokely, Mississippi? I don't know who Erica Boxer is anymore. <clears throat> Erica died this morning. My friend is gone. One of those horrific things tore her spine out of her body right in front of my eyes. I must be one of the last ones left alive. Not that I've not that I've got long. I'm infected with something. I can feel it. I checked out the hydroponics lab this morning. It's a wreck. I could have told them, anyone could have told them, that trying to breed a new fungus to, to kill the old one was, would be disastrous. The rest of it, the rest of it won't budge. I've tried tearing it away from the, with the laser scalpel Erica gave me, but it did nothing. Zilp, zip, zip, zilch, nada. That doesn't, what doesn't kill it really does make it stronger. I'm going back to retrieve... Erica's remains later. I know she died a crazy woman, but she's still my friend. I still love her. Notice in reports. This is the Aegis personnel tag information again. All right. And in inboxes we have inventory and all. Dr. Milan, first allow me to apologize for mailing you directly, but this is classified red emergency. I've undertaken further inspections beyond samples D, E, and F and found that the majority of the inventory has been compromised by tampering. There are signs that the tampering began some time ago. Some of the materials were merely spoiled. The large quantity had been illegally modified. 
I'm not sure who the new suppliers are, but the inventory they have provided does not match the chemical manifest included. I'm aware that this is shipping concern rather than a hydroponics one, but Project Seed is based around our successful cultivation of hyper-nutritious plants in unusual conditions. The current stock we possess, there's no limit to the number of illegal or mutated nutrients going into our plant growth. I advise that shipping and medical begin more thorough inspections of received cargo. I suspect the problem could go back months, although I have no evidence to prove this. <clears throat> All right. Please recommend the immediate termination of supply runs and decontamination of irrigation pipes until this is resolved. Sadie, I love you very much, sweetie, but this but have you lost your damn mind? Those samples are restricted. What if Dr. Milan finds out you <clears throat> excuse me. You brought from out of the storage bays. It's only your job you'll it's it's not only your job you'll be losing. I'll do what you ask, but only because you've never been wrong before. Though I pray to God you're aware of this. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, we read that now. So let's look at the elevator here. I would happy to see it. Never see another tubular conveyance in your life. Nothing to see in here right now. Okay, so let's try this door. We've got two doors to go to. This one sounds good to me. Force field. Blood-stained environmental suits. Suits look relatively intact. Serotonergic receptors <coughs> are present in your principal vascular system. I don't know what that means. Profanity, Oxygen. derogatory comments, or other intimidating actions directed at Kane security employees will not be tolerated. So let's look through it. So we got some sort of stasis area, looks like. Okay. Let's try this room. This is a medical machinery, surgical pod bed. But the beneficiary or victim, this is where surgically, surgical patients lie. Extracted PDT. I'm back. It's been cut open. Of course! They must have manually removed the PDTs. That's why the security systems were reset in medical. Oh, bodies. The bodies in the crew quarters, they were skinned. The creatures were using the PDTs to move through secure areas. I must have realized what was going on. So for me to get to the lower decks. You have to remove your tag. Remove? Perhaps electric shock. No, that wouldn't work. John, this is the only surefire way. What are you saying? The surgery pod should already be programmed to remove it. It didn't work out so well for this poor woman. It's the only way, unless you space jump between decks. This is surgery. John, prep the pod. <laughs> oh, always a good idea. Alright, so let's see. Main surgery pod base, high end surgery pod, anesthetic storage. The pod is not properly prepared for the selective program. So we got cryopreservation tank. How do we just get there? Empty stasis fluid container. We need stasis fluid apparently. Oxygen tank that probably goes right there. I don't think this will fit. So you just dropped it on the floor? Classy dude. Organic receptacle. I don't know what that means. Protein and fat storage. Looks like we're collecting collecting things here. This should be useful. Oxygen silico wrapped with cables. Does that make it fit now? Oh, okay, apparently that makes it fit. Alright, I suppose we should look at this PDA, huh? Isaiah, um, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Alright, new year for the chief surgeon, and a new year for the staff of medical deck. I have to think of. 
that way, or it gets rather confusing. The staff of medical deck now consists of three extra sections, cybernetics, tissue regeneration, and for some reason, medical hydroponics. Yes, it may be medicinal, but as Dr. Milan, but as I told Dr. Milan, there's still plants. I don't wish to seem ungrateful. This is the Kane Corporation who opened so many new doorways for me and who redefined the frontiers of medicine as well. Excuse me, for us all. As a man who has served his apprenticeship on battlefields elbow deep in blood of innocence to see the these to see those deserts and war-torn villages reborn as images of nirvana is a privilege and all thanks to the science of Cain. and yet it's hard to understand why on the groom lake so many departments are being forced to share resources like this i hear our budget will be up for review soon and chances of us getting an increase are slim i shall try to remain positive my goodness, a 300% budget increase? I have not been able to get, be able to even imagine how helpful this financial will, windfall will be. Dr. Milan assured me that that sizable portion of that budget will be applied to Project Seed. Makes our work that much more essential. We'll order new equipment and new samples, although I don't totally agree with the ethics of Dr. Milan's acquisition of volunteers for surgery and testing. Hey, that's me. The leaps and bounds we've made in our research more than make up for the rest of it. Is it good that we must test our limits of morality for the greater good? I'm a surgeon who has seen many awful things in the blood-soaked abattoir of the Pangea Wars, so perhaps this should be second nature to me, but I don't recall agreeing to use children for testing. I went to inspect the stasis tube at the request of the chief nurse and found that there were several children, some of them as young as nine years old, awaiting processing. Children! I was shocked and appalled and demanded an explanation from Dr. Milan. Edward Jenner had to test vaccines on children to see if they work, he said. I knew the story. What, medi what medical does not? Jenner injected infected purulent exudates into the child's arm, which must have seemed callous disregard for the child's life, and yet it saved the boy. And how he convinced me. That is how he convinced me. We are at the frontier of sciences. Chances must be taken, but I not always feel comfortable with the ethical choices. But his logic is sound. Research is too valuable. I fear that my decision to become chief surgeon with Kane Corporation is not quite as simple as I thought. The first casualties of the infection spread across the ship. Came to my lab where we had to set up quarantined operating room. Quarantined operating room. I had to get my hands on a patient for the first time in years. The flow of blood, the cutting infected tissue under my specialized tool. God forgive me, but I enjoyed it. It's impossible to explain the adrenaline rush from playing God in such a way of having lives. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, how could I have not seen it? Those awful life forms are disguising themselves as us. Inside us. They wear our skins and our PDTs, which explains how the security system cannot detect them. If I didn't already know where those creatures came from, this would be would be perhaps be less frightening. But they've learned the vi- they've- but they've learned the vile abominations. Abominations! What a wor word that is. It appears to be summarized what we, what I, we, have created in our hubris. We've created evil. God help us. That's the Aegis report again. Oh, ah. We've got... Dr. Milan has recalibrated his guidelines for subjects in Project Seed, and specifically the requirements for any female subjects to have previously been pregnant. Female subjects must be ideally have been screened, but their precise source is not important since the project is 99.89% chance of a, no a non-fatal reaction in the subject. Members of the staff will be eligible for this test. The ideal subject is blah, 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 blah. We've disagreed often, but never so much as now. I'm aware that that Miss Callister does not work in surgery. That Chief Nurse Boxer has since already in terms of right. However, Callister is one of the most extraordinary organizational minds I've ever worked. Um. All right, we've we've read. That's about one of the people we've already read. All right, so let's uh let's head back out. We've got we have to get into cryosurgery here don't think we're going to be able to do with this. Can't do anything with the pistol, right? Maybe. No. no. we got to somehow get in there, and we have to uh, fill the thing with cryostasis stuff. And we also need to find... Of the wound, or never again. It crawled through the night, and then, and then... 
they grafted their eyes and tore through my skin. Oh, never ever, never again. They came for our mothers and then for our kids, scratching the girl and eating their sin, changing God's work, a seed to begin. We burn them with fire and kill them with men. Let us remember, never again. Reception desk, medical bay terminal. Personal data tag detected, John Merichek. Personal data tag has no security key system. This is locked. Okay. Hey, you. Yes, you over there. Ensure that you stay clean of parasites at all times. Mandatory rectal exams are to be enforced. Right, so let's see, what do we need to do? By Kane Health and Safety. Back out here. Atmosphere of Neptune is consuming this vessel as the lightning shows. Oh, so this is... That is Neptune out there that's making that sound. Okay, I didn't realize we were sinking into the atmosphere. Somehow missed that. So there's nothing else to see out here, huh? No. Alright, so let's back this way. I was kind of wondering how there was a uh, noise coming from outside. Right, let's get this force field a little bit more. Alright. Okay. Can't click on anything back there, so we'll just skip that for the moment. I need something. Oh, there we go. What is this? Personal data tag. Excellent. Alright, that's how we get past that other door. Alright. Personal data tag, yep. <clears throat> Come on. Pick up the pace, John. Thought I'd look at that, just in case there was something to grab from it. Alright, let's go back over to this thing. Then we do it this way. Swanson, force field off, please. Alright, so that should open the other force field, I think. Yes, alright. Let's go get some stasis fluid. What do we got in here? Discarded stasis pod. Okay, that's um something. Tia, a survivor. Is someone alive? Not exactly. He's in stasis. It can be dangerous to wake someone from stasis without the proper procedures being followed. So who the hell woke me? Forget him, John. You need to think about the mission. Poor guy. Impossibly, in the middle of the slaughter, there's another survivor. Clearly alive, his life signs seem normal. How aware he it how aware is he of what happened aboard the group? Okay. This one. So I can't help but feel like those chemical symbols are gonna be somehow these guys are gonna be important. So we'll worry about that in a bit. Torn apart door. Where are you going? I'm just gonna run back over there. Alright, well that's not gonna work for anything. Legs. <laughs> The femurs have buckled in the opposite direction, have been ripped from their sockets. Another body. Alright, I'll come back to that in a second. That's just materials, storage crates, stasis pod chip. You look torso. No, no, it's one. Alright, 
Let's look at this. Burke Carter. He's still my beaten heart. Oh, these things are so long. They're getting longer and longer. I just some of the most divine creature in hydroponics. I don't know why I've decided this guy's uh, southern. She's friends with that nurse Erica. Erica gives me the evil eye, but Sadie sees it. Just a divine thing. Curves in all the right places in the face of an angel. I keep trying to come up with some reason to visit hydroponics. Uh, there we go. She never sees me, though. I'm not trained medical staff. Those soldiers in the recovery room look, give me funny looks. If I'm the at, if I'm at the window trying to get their, her attention, I have to find a way to speak to Sadie directly. I've seen her head in the decontamination room, and she seems to go there after every shift. I might try and strike up a conversation by one of those machines. Maybe I'll buy, offer to buy her a drink. I'll do it tomorrow, or maybe the day after. All right, that's just flavor. Shut down. Sorry, I'm gonna s skim this. I'm reading this book about by Aria Sanchez. It's about the eugenics wars. It's frightening. It's friggin' amazing that they that we're even allowed to do what we do on Groom Lake. What would, what happened all those years ago? I have to hide the book though. Doctor Milan saw me reading it in the rec room, and he went totally ape shit. Threatened to burn the book and fire my ass, so it stays under my pillow. I'm sure as hell. Don't take it on my rounds. Instead, I bring one of the Pangean series, W.C. Dark, with me. Is that his real name? Doubt it. I love Major Plothol. Plowtol? He's incredible. Sometimes I wish I had the balls to be in the Marines rather than engineering. Rations arrived today. Nobody is impressed. Do, 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 do. All right. That just that didn't say anything important. I'm just skimming these things now. The power went out again. I saw one guy ripped apart by those things. Couldn't make it out too well. Pale skin, tails, I think. They move around like packs of dogs, and they're strong. People are scared and hungry. Kept a small stash of food in my quarters. I didn't even tell Steve about it. I feel ashamed for keeping it to myself, but people are getting crazy. Alright. Body still friggin' kills from the operation earlier, Steve was nominated to reprogram the security turrets and the guy just went and did it. He's a hero, not like me. Alright, this is the, yep, that's the Aegis report. Alright. Alright, so I've got this chip. Put it here. There we go. Aha! This is where we need the, uh, the thing. Sorry, right, so let's jump out here. I'll get this one first. Let's see if we'll write it down. All right, that seems to be middle of the body. It's kind of hard to tell. And it's uh, H3C connected to a nitrogen, connected to an oxygen, and a double bond. We've got an oxygen down here. We've got an uh, in on the corner. We've got a CH3. We've got another little hex here with an in in one corner. Oh, that's a pint. It's a pentagonal with an H in there. And three little dots. Alright, so that's the middle of the body. Whoops. What just happened? Don't tell me that just reset everything. Oh man, I just reset everything to my last save. All right, well I'm gonna stop here today. Um, I'll get us back to where we were before I start recording again next time. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> Apparently the escape key jumps you back. Uh, or maybe it was one of my function keys, I'm not really sure. All right, I'll see you guys next time. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. If you are, leave me a like. It helps me out a great deal, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.